I know from personal experience that disease can be healed if we are willing to change the way we think and believe and act. Sometimes what seems to be a big tragedy turns out to become the greatest good in our lives, and your experience with cancer can become a positive turning point in your life too. Listen to what I have to say. Now I believe that all illness is self-created. Not that we say, I want to have this illness, but we actually do create a mental atmosphere where this disease can grow and flourish. I heard a physician from New York say on television a few weeks ago that if the surgeon operates on a patient without doing something to help them change the cause of the disease, then all the doctors were doing was prolonging the life of the patient until they could create another disease. It is my belief that we are each 100% responsible for every experience in our lives, the best and the worst. We all create our experiences by the thoughts we think and the words we speak. The universe totally supports us in every thought we choose to think and believe. Our subconscious mind accepts whatever we choose to believe. You can say it either way. They both mean that what I believe about myself and about life becomes true for me. And what you choose to think about yourself and about life becomes true for you. And we have unlimited choices about what we can think. The body, like everything else in life, is a mirror of our inner thoughts and beliefs. The body is always talking to us if we will only take the time to listen. Every cell responds to every single thought you think and every word you speak. Continuous modes of thinking and speaking produce body behaviors and postures and eases or diseases. The person who has a permanently scowling face did not produce that by having joyous, loving thoughts. Older people's faces show so clearly a lifetime of inner dialogue. How will you look when you are elderly? You see, it is my belief that it is our birthright to be totally healthy and totally fulfilled in every area of our lives. I want to help you claim this birthright now. Some of the things I will suggest to you may sound very simplistic. However, these ideas have been tried many times with great success. They really do work. Please use these suggestions in addition to the work you may be doing with a doctor or other health professional. It will be helpful to you both. Take a nice deep breath, and if possible, allow yourself to be in a comfortable position while you listen to this tape. Just let these ideas wash over you. Only those ideas that are right for you will be accepted by you. It doesn't matter whether you understand them all or not, or if they make sense to you right now. Just let yourself play this tape over and over even if you are not actually listening to the words, your subconscious mind will hear and record whatever you need. I believe that all illness is self-created. Not that we say, I want to have this illness, but we create a mental atmosphere where this disease can grow and flourish. Our internal mental dialogue reacts in every cell in the body. I heard a physician say recently, if the surgeon operates on a patient without doing something to help them change the cause of the disease, then all the doctor is doing is prolonging the life of the patient until the patient can create another disease. You see, we need to do more than just treat the symptom. We need to eliminate the cause of the disease. And for that, we need to go within ourselves 
where the process of illness began. It is my belief that we are each 100% responsible for every experience in our lives, the best and the worst. We all create our experiences by the thoughts we think and the words we speak. The universe totally supports our inner dialogue. Our subconscious mind accepts as truth whatever we choose to believe. You can say it either way. They both mean that what I believe about myself and about life becomes true for me. What you choose to think about yourself and about life becomes true for you. And we have unlimited choices about what we can think. Your current internal dialogue is creating tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, etc. Notice what you are thinking at this moment. Do you want this thought to be creating your future? Is it negative or positive? Just notice and be aware. I am not trying to create guilt for anyone, nor to make anyone wrong. I am making us aware of what is going on inside of us. Many of us who create illness and disease are in fact totally out of touch with what is going on in our minds and in our bodies. We only notice our bodies when we become ill or are in pain. If we do not know what is going on inside of us, how can we ever change? No matter what the problem is, the only thing we are ever dealing with is a thought, and a thought can be changed. All our experiences are just outer effects of our inner dialogue. We can refuse to think certain thoughts. Look how often you have refused to think a positive thought about yourself. Well, you can also refuse to think a negative thought about yourself, too. It seems to me that everyone on this planet that I know or have worked with is suffering from self-hatred and guilt to one degree or another. The more self-hatred and guilt we have, the less our life works. We find we have an inability to speak up for ourselves, and we are always trying to please others. Or we may be angry and explosive all the time. The less self-hatred and guilt we have, the better our lives work on all levels, this includes the health of the body, too. It has been my experience that the very bottom line for everyone I have worked with is always, I'm not good enough. And we often add to this, I don't do enough, or I don't deserve. Does this sound like you? Always saying or implying or feeling that you are not good enough? But for whom? And according to whose standards? Now, if these negative beliefs are very strong in you, then how can you possibly create a loving, joyous, prosperous, healthy life? Somehow, your subconscious beliefs would always be contradicting these objectives and making sure you do not obtain your goals. I find that resentment criticism, guilt, and fear cause more problems in our bodies and in our experiences than anything else. These feelings come from blaming others and not taking responsibility for our own lives. Whether we want to change a life experience or a physical problem, the place to begin is to say so. Literally say, I am willing to release the pattern within me that is creating this experience or this condition. You can say this to yourself over and over every time you think of your illness. Say this with me now. I am willing to release the pattern in me that has created this condition. The minute you say this affirmation, you are stepping out of the victim role. You are no longer helpless. 
you are acknowledging your own power. You are saying, I may not understand it, but somehow I am beginning to understand that I contributed to creating this problem and now I take my own power back and I am releasing it and letting it go. What a powerful statement to have your subconscious mind supporting. As I said, resentment of others, criticism of ourselves, guilt over the past, and fear of the future are the most damaging mental thought patterns we can have. This kind of internal dialogue creates and maintains dis-ease in the body. These thoughts can destroy the body. Fear can contribute to baldness, ulcers, colon problems, and even painful feet, among other things. Criticism as a permanent habit can often lead to arthritis in the body. Resentment long held eats away at the body and becomes the dis-ease we call cancer. Guilt always looks for punishment and creates pain. Fear comes from not trusting the process of life to be there for us. You know, the most precious thing in our life is our breath. If you did not take another breath, you would not last three minutes. Yet you have such faith that your next breath will be there that you don't even think about it when you exhale. Now if the power that created us has given us enough breath to last for as long as we shall live, can we not begin to trust that the rest will also be provided for us? The next time you are frightened, Think about the abundance of air and say, I trust the process of life to take care of me. Whenever someone is in pain, I know they have created a lot of guilt for themselves. Chronic pain comes from unrelenting guilt, often so buried that we are not even aware of it anymore. This guilt must be dissolved before the pain can be eliminated. Guilt is a totally useless emotion. It never makes anyone feel better, nor does it change a situation. Your sentence is now over. Let yourself out of prison.